Welcome to the spoken tutorial on flowcharts, glue points, and Bezier curves in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn to draw Bezier curves and flowcharts. You will also learn how to connect flowcharts using connectors and glue points. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let's learn about Bezier curves. Bezier curves are used mainly in computer graphics. To make curves smoother, you can use these curves to experiment with the shape and size of curves. All curves have a start point and an end point. The points on the curve are referred to as nodes. Let us go to our root map file. Let's go to the commercial complex from home. To do so, we have to go right from the parking lot. Remember, previously we had grouped the drawing, so let's ungroup it. Now, from the drawing toolbar, click Curve and select Curve. On the draw page, click on the start point of the route. This is home. Keep the left mouse button pressed and drag till the playground. You will see a straight line. Release the mouse button. Now move the pointer to the commercial complex. The line will curve as the mouse moves. Double click at the end point, that is the commercial complex. We have drawn a curve. Notice that the curve transition is smooth. Now let us edit the points on this curve using the Edit Points toolbar. Click on the curve. To enable the Edit Points toolbar, right-click on the curve and choose Edit Points. When the blue boxes appear at the end points of the curve, we can edit the curve. Click on the start point of the curve. You will see a dotted line with a control point. You can now drag the dotted line to reduce or expand the curve as required. Double click anywhere on the draw page once you have made a change. You can use the edit points toolbar to insert, move or delete points on the curve to create a smoother curve. Here is a small assignment for you. Draw a Bezier curve and work with all the options using the Edit Points toolbar. Now let us learn to create flowcharts. Let's add two new pages to the file root map. Draw provides a separate option in the drawing toolbar for flowcharts. This flowchart shows all the stages in the spoken tutorial process. Let's create this flowchart. From the drawing toolbar, click on Flowcharts. Click on the small black triangle and select Flowchart Process. Place the cursor on the draw page, hold the left mouse button and drag it down. You have drawn a process box. A process box represents a step or an event in the entire process. We can insert text in flowchart objects too. Let's double click on the process box and type the text Create the tutorial outline to chunk content into 10 minute scripts inside it. Formatting options for flowcharts are also similar to that of other objects. Now let's align the text inside the process box. Let us select the text. Right-click to view the context menu and click Text. The text dialog box appears. In the text dialog box, check the box Resize Shape to fit text width. Click OK. You will see that the process box has changed its shape to fit the text. Now let us undo this action by pressing the Ctrl plus Z keys together. Again, let's select the text. 
Go to the main menu and select Format and click Text. The text dialog box appears. Let us check the option Word Wrap Text in Shape. Click OK. The text is adjusted itself to fit the shape of the process box. In the same manner, let us now draw another process box beneath the first one. Let us insert the text Create Scripts inside it. Now, let's draw a decision box and insert the text Review OK inside it. A decision box represents a decision that has to be made. It directs us to the next process based on the outcome of the decision. Let us now draw another process box beneath the decision box. Let us insert the text Record Video inside it. Next, we need another decision box here with the text Review OK. Let's copy the decision box we created before and place it here. So, select the decision box and press the Ctrl plus C keys together. Now, press the Ctrl plus V keys together. Let's move this box beneath the previous process box. Now, enter the text Review OK inside it. Finally, let's draw a flowchart connector and type A inside it. A flowchart connector connects two parts of a flowchart. Let's say that the first part of the flowchart is on one page and the second part on another page. We draw a flowchart connector at the end of the flowchart on the first page. Then we draw the same connector at the beginning of the second page. Before we connect the objects, let us learn about connector lines and glue points in draw. Connectors are lines or arrows whose ends are attached or docked to an object. Glue points, as the name indicates, are the points that glue the connectors to the objects. All the objects have glue points. These are invisible. They become visible when a connector is selected from the drawing toolbar or when the mouse pointer is moved over an object. Glue points are not the same as handles. We use handles to resize the object. Glue points are used to glue the connector to an object. Now let us connect the objects in the flowchart using connectors. Go to the drawing toolbar and select Connector. Click on the small black triangle to see the different types of connectors. Let us select the option Straight Connector Ends with Arrow. When you select the connector, you will see cross marks on all the objects in the draw page. These are the glue points. Now, let's draw a line from the glue point of the first process box to glue point of the next process box. We will connect all the flowchart objects in a top to down manner using connectors. You will notice that every line automatically docks itself to the nearest glue point, wherever you place the cursor. Now, let's connect the process and the decision boxes. From the drawing toolbar, select the option Connector, ends with arrow. From the process box, let's connect to the decision box. Similarly, let's connect the decision box with the next process box. You can also add text to a connector. On the connector from the decision box to the process box, let us type No. To select the connector, just double-click on it. The end control points become active and the text cursor appears. Let us type the text No. Let us do this once more for the other connector. We have created a simple flowchart. 
Let's save our flowchart by pressing Ctrl plus S keys. You can also connect the objects using lines and arrows too. But in that case, you should group the objects. This is because arrows do not stay top to objects. How are connectors different from lines and arrows? Connectors are lines or arrows whose endpoints are automatically docked to the glue points of an object. Lines and arrows, on the other hand, do not dock automatically. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Create the second part of the Spoken Tutorial flowchart. Color the process boxes. Draw a connector with the letter A. It should be the first object in this flowchart. It should look like this. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, you have learned about flowcharts, connectors, glue points. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.